Welcome back. This is Cereal Snacks. Today I'm looking at a boss fight in Diablo 3. It's Belial, a boss fight that a lot of people have a lot of trouble with. And currently I'm playing the Witch Doctor. And let's just start out by kind of listing the skills that I have, although I don't think those are as critical as the gear that you have. So the skills I have are the zombie dogs, which I don't currently have summoned. I'm waiting for the cooldown. And my gargantuan. And the zombie dogs, I have the burning dogs, so they, they're, they're on fire all the time. They do more damage that way. I also have this spirit walk, which allows you to escape stuns and snares and also makes you invulnerable to damage for just two seconds, which is nice. I have sacrifice, which allows me to sacrifice my zombie dogs. And I have the gargantuan, of course, I mentioned that. I have the poison dart with splinters rune. Which is actually probably the highest DPS thing you can use, and, and it's funny because it's the first skill you get in the game, but it's very, very useful. And then I have the fire bats, which I have as set as dire bats on the rune. So you can see I got my zombie dogs out. I'm fighting the first iteration of Belial, which is actually the easy part. Don't waste your skills or your cooldowns on this part because you can easily get through this just using your poison or your dire bats. Don't, don't get crazy and use all your and blow all your cooldowns early. W one thing I was saying is that one thing I found in this fight, and I'm about to go into the actual real fight, but quickly, just it's all about gear. I went, and as a casual gamer, I'm not a fan really of using the auction house, nor do I really do a lot of research on it. But I found when I bought a lot of gear that was my level on the auction house, I, I actually got it really cheaply with Diablo 3 Gold. And I just mixed intel intelligence and vitality. So I have about half plus points on intelligence and half plus points on vitality. So, and that's helped a great deal, and I'll show you the gear at the end of this fight, but right now, the critical part about the Blau fight is really just running around and trying to avoid his attacks. He throws down green circles that show where he's going to attack, so it's kind of nice. I use my zombie dogs, and I'll, be, I'll sacrifice them multiple times. Now see, in this part, you can see the green circles are coming down very, very quickly. There's no time for you to attack during that phase. Just run. You can see that's what I'm doing. I'm just trying to stay in an area that doesn't hurt me. Occasionally I try to throw off an attack, but mostly I'm just running, running for the health globes, running for my life. And then when, the, when that stops, then you can sit there and take your time to attack, avoiding, of course, the green circles that come slowly at this point. So you see I sacrificed my zombie dogs. I'm going to summon them here again. The, the fight lasts long enough that you can summon them probably twice. Uh, and here I am running around again as he does his major attack. You just don't want to get hit by those attacks. I have 7,000 hit points. And I do a thousand DPS because of the gear that I purchased on the auction house. But even then, you want to avoid it. You can see I popped my spirit walk right there just to get out of his his range. And here we go. Here we go again. This is where the what I call the run for your life phase. And this happens, you know, depending on your DPS and your health, it happens, you know, two or three times during the fight. Just find a place that you can be safe and just run around. So. Here we are again. It's a, it's a fairly long fight in Nightmare. In, in normal mode, it was difficult, but it didn't last quite this long. There, I sacrificed my zombie dogs again. Just, you just run and run and run. As a witch doctor, you're lucky because you have these pets that can do the fighting for you. So even if you're running around for your life, they're still doing damage, and you're just avoiding the damage at that point. So I think that in this boss fight, having that good mix of intelligence and vitality is good. And I'll show you my stats. There's my achievement for beating the Lord of Lies. Let me take a look at some of the stats and equipment that I have equipped and the skills I have equipped just to give you an idea of what you probably should shoot for to make it through this fight. And I'm using points and darts with splinters. You can see that there. That's a great DPS attack that you have. Um, I can't say enough about it. Dire bats, of course, you have the dire bat rune on there. Do huge amounts of damage. They burn a lot of mana, but it's nice if you can pop a couple of those off every once in a while. Zombie Dogs is on cooldown right now. Spirit Walk, and I have the Honored Guest Rune, which allows me to gain mana back when I'm actually trying to escape dying, which is nice, because you can throw more Dire Bats their way. The Gargantuan, which is actually I set at Restless Giant, which actually gives you a lot more damage against bosses like this, against single targets. Of course, I have the Sacrifice Rune, with the Next of Kin, or Sacrifice for the Dogs, the Next of Kin Rune. Jungle Fortitude, which reduces your damage by 20%. I only use that on boss fights. I have Zombie Handler, which allows you to have four zombie dogs. It's kind of nice to have, right? So just a little bit more damage. I don't know how. You, know, you could probably split that out for something else if you want. And, of course, Spirit Vessel, which is great if you come close to death because it avoids you from dying <laughs> at least once during the fight. So, And here's some of the weapons I bought. You can see they're all level 41, probably an even mix of intelligence and vitality on them. All I did is went to the auction house and said I wanted 
rare items with a mix of those two stats and i found them very very cheaply i think under 5k for each weapon which is ridiculously cheap you can see my dps was a thousand hit points were seven thousand i said that before i didn't really get anything special from this fight but i beat him so it's nice to beat probably what i feel is the uh one of the hardest bosses on any difficulty mode in diablo 3 so Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you this helps you defeat Belial and uh, and come back again soon. Thank you.